Let me just start this video off by saying the weight in the heels cue for the squat is absolute bullshit. What they do? They start them in your face. There are several cues that go along with the weight in the heels cue. One of them being vertical shin, the other being sit back or get the hips back. And to be honest, I'm pretty tired of them. The reasoning for all three of these cues is to not have the knees track forward too far. Why? Because of sheer force in the knee. However, in a 2003 study performed by the NSCA, they measured sheer force in two subjects. One of the subjects utilized what was called a restricted squat. That means when they were squatting, they had a board in front of their knees, and this would prevent their knees from tracking further than just over their toes. The other subject had an unrestricted squat. There was no board in front of the toes and the subject was allowed to push the knees past the toes as far as they wanted. The practical applications of the findings in this study state, although restricting forward movement of the knee may minimize stress on the knees, it is likely that forces are inappropriately transferred to the hips and low back region. Thus, appropriate joint loading during this exercise may require the knees to move slightly past the toes. So if the NSCA's findings in 2003 were acceptable, wouldn't Rich Froning's front squats have fit into that criteria? It's people like this, not just in CrossFit gyms, but all around sports performance and community gyms that feel the need to correct an efficient mover because of prior conceptions of a bullshit universal cue. I felt so strongly about this subject that when I was given a chance to speak at a conference in front of about a hundred high school football strength coaches, I broke down this myth and explained how to objectively look at each individual squatter. Is the pressure in the foot flat throughout the entire squat? An article I will link below, written by Yasha Khan, talks about the merits of a flat-footed squat. Are they squatting to proper depth? I define it as top of thigh parallel to the floor, or hip crease below knee. In my opinion, the lower the better. And finally, is the spine in a neutral protected position throughout the squat? And this is an absolute necessity to keep the athlete healthy and injury free. In this next video, Dr. Hennick breaks down differing squat techniques in two different national champion weightlifters. I'll give you guys a brief summary, even though I will link the video below, and I highly, highly recommend watching the entire video. Courtney Batchelor squats with her toes out and knees out wide. And Colin Burns squats with a more forward toe position and knees tracking over the toes. Neither of these lifters are wrong in their techniques because as Hennick explains, their anatomy is different. He assesses both of these lifters' limitations throughout the hip and explains that due to their femoral head and hip socket structure, they are squatting with the most efficient technique for themselves. Uh, yeah, hey, Lou? What's up, man? Really good front squat, but if you get the weight back in the heels, I think you could probably squat a lot more. Your face.